Hi everyone, Joanna here and I have a little assistant, my new assistant with me, Sebastian, there he is, sleeping. Uh, so for today's video I wanted to show you how we can upcycle plastic pots. So I got some plastic pots here, I started painting this one blue. And I'm just going to show you some examples quickly. So with the painted one, I'm just using acrylic paint and I'm going to try to do some nice motifs. This is the one that I done earlier. So all of my recycled pots uh, having grass, lovely grasses in them. So this is one I done earlier from the paint. Then this one is really nice as well. But what we did there, Mikey painted this one. This is a really, really lovely one. Oh, I put those grasses. And then for this one, we used some of that tape that we found we used this one for doing all the plasterboards putting them all together here in the studio so we covered that on the pot and just painted it with acrylics as well so another one that is really nice is this one that is quite heavy so it's got lovely lovely grass in there very long so this one we just covered with the twine so again it was a big black plastic pot and probably we ordered quite a few trees during the lockdown so again nice big pot and we found a way to reuse it with the twine i'll show you in a minute how to do that and then we had because of the plastic pot we had some polyfiller as well so this is a lovely plant and again big plant pot and we've got some lovely blue grasses in there and then Mikey decided to cover it with glitter as well so it looks like and they're all outside and they've been there for a few weeks now and they're doing well so I'm just trying to get to Sebi there so with the painted one it's quite straightforward I'm just painting this one blue all over and some brush stroke this one I kind of want to see see the brush strokes Oops, so I'm just gonna do one layer but the other one this one there in greens I kind of done one layer left left it too dry then put another layer so it covers it better. And this one. I'm just gonna leave it to dry a little bit and then carry on painting. I just wanted to give it a bit more colour because this grey doesn't really go with anything we've got outside. But I got one tiny black pot and a little brush we've got some pink outside pink signs pink birth, uh, birth feeder and so i'm thinking we could do some pink plant pots as well Just thinking to just do some swirl. So they can be used outside, but they can be used inside as well, which is nice. So I'm just trying to get some swirls. So I'm just just playing. I'm gonna let this one dry, and then gonna do another layer. 
see. So I just want to dry for a little bit. And just quickly wanted to show you how to do the twine. So we did use this tape so it looks it holds a bit better. I'm sure you can use it without it as well. So I start I start from here and first I just try to cover this first bit but I will I will leave some at the moment because later on I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna go up again and then we can fasten those two ends together. So I'm trying to stay to the edge and I'm just getting it around and I find that they really look nice with the grasses but I think the twine is just my favorite from all of them because we've got this one going horizontal and then lovely grasses vertical and then on the end with these grasses they are going like a similar beige color on the top so it looks really good I'm just going around and I'm checking on the baby he's asleep so it's all good Yeah. and you could use all kind of different stuff you've got at home or glue stuff to it like ob found objects or shells just try to be creative with the decorations because very often with those plastic pots we just put them away and then get more plastic pots when you get your plants so I thought that would be lovely to make something to find a way to make them useful again. I just keep going around and around and now I'm going up. So this one was quite nice and quick really. I might leave the top grey. So I'm going all the way to the top again. Where these two ends will meet in a minute. I'm quite happy with that. So it's another nice looking pot. Just fasten them. Mm, lovely. And do I have a scissors somewhere? I get the scissors in a minute. Yeah, but I'm trying to get it all. Like quite a strong loop over here on the end. Lovely. So I can find this is this in the minute. So that's gonna be this one. These ones are still drying, so I will carry on in a minute. And I just wanted to quickly show you. This one because it is really, really cool if I can do it. So you can see the effect on the top. So it goes like that. And it goes like this. So it is, it is a lovely idea. Lovely. So we managed to do it with little Sebi. So I'll see you with it 
I'm gonna give a wave. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.